Solomon Islands is made up of many different geographical islands. Some of them are quite big, some of them are very small, like one and a half meters above sea level. So environment-wise, loss of biodiversity is one of our big issues due to logging. Climate change, we have um, food security as one of the big issues there, as well as, as, well as coastal erosion. The communities are people who live out in the rural areas. They rely mainly on um, subs subsistence um, farming and fishing. Um, the little money they get or find is mostly for school fees, the basic needs, and that is one of the issues that's happening. Uh, that is very prominent in the Solomon Islands. People are they don't have access to money so they resort to their natural resources and with that comes you know um, signing of rights forest rights to logging companies to meet their school fees to meet their basic kerosene for lamp for energy so on top of all those livelihood issues and development issues sit also the issues to do with climate change With food security, we have had a lot of uh, different donors coming in to address food security in, in different parts of the country. Most of them are pilot-based programs and projects as well. And um, with GCCA, it's looking at NAPA priority as well, but focusing on adaptation and especially on relocation. We don't have any relocation, formal relocation program, program in the country. But with GCCA, we are hoping to come up with uh, processes to put in place processes in trying to identify very vulnerable communities and communities that would resort to relocation as the last option. What would be good for the communities would be helping them to help themselves facilitating means so that they can find ways to help themselves because at the end of the day that's, that will be something sustainable for them and not something that finance or funds from overseas or from donors would you know, help them and then when that stops, it stops as well. So we're teaching them to manage their resources, we're teaching them to come up with plans on how to use the land, agricultural methods so that some, you know, the methods or what they do with the resources, it's sustainable in nature.